Hi everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. In this video we're going to cover a really straightforward bunker drill that's going to help everybody become a better, more consistent bunker player. Now that's uh, true for whether you're a high handicap golfer or an elite player. So for a high handicap golfer you may just be uh, success may be getting out of the bunker all the time and into the heart of the green. Uh, for a elite player, it may be having a little bit more control of the ball speed as it comes out of the bunker and getting it closer to the flag. Let's go straight to the drill. It's controlling or making you aware of your low point, your entry point into the sand. If you're in control of your entry point into the sand, you're in control of how much sand you take and therefore you've got more control on the ball. Really straightforward drill that a lot of the tour pros have been seen in videos demonstrating. There's a masterclass of Danny Willett discussing this if you can if you can find that somewhere. But basically the ball's down here in a nice lie. And I'm going to draw a, a line off of the ball. So this is the ball line. And then two inches behind that, I'm going to draw a parallel line like so. And then I'm just going to make my way along the line with the ball line in line with the left heel. The aim obviously is to go along the line and strike into the sand on the back line. If I struggle with this, so if I lean back onto the right side and scoop at it, I've got immediate feedback. I can see I've taken seven, eight, nine, ten inches more, too much sand, and there's going to be no pressure on the ball. And the same works the other way. If I hit, miss the lines, then I'm going to be catching it too clean and the ball's going to fly over the back of the green. So concentrating on the back line, like so, moving along the line. And once you feel like you've got it, go into the ball. Okay, a little bit of a wide, but we can see I struck the line first and therefore I got the right amount of speed on my ball. The great thing about this drill is that it's heavily focused on improvement without the ball being there itself. So we are learning and we are improving without hitting too many balls. The sand is the feedback. There's a ratio of at least 75% uh, practice engaging your mind in where the ball is or the club is entering the sand before you actually go into the shot itself. So you're getting the reps in, both lines taken, both lines taken, both lines taken. That's got a chance that one. Okay, I'll take that really straightforward drill, a great drill for you as well. It'll catch you out, it'll show you what your tendency is straight away. And you've got your own personal coach there. The lines there will tell you uh, which direction you need to move to in order to start getting the correct amount of sand. So I hope that makes sense. Any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And remember, please like and subscribe so I can keep producing this uh, these tips, this content for you. Thank you.